Hello, my name is Nancy Love. Um, this monologue is from the play Snowflakes by Mike Bartlett. You can find it on Amazon. I'm going to put a link to it below. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to message me on Instagram. That's what most people have been doing. Um, and yeah, please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy. So he arrives and does the walk about. These cameras, this team, they're all following behind him and we're waiting. He's talking to all these posh boys and old people. You realise, yeah, when he's this close up, what a performance it is. How he never has that fucking button on his jacket done up. Anyway, he's nearly at us and I look at Stephen Twix to see which one of us is going to start. And they've taken a step back. Not like a huge step, but they've edged away from him. And I realise in that moment that all the stuff we've talked about in the pub, like the need for real change, for wanting a revolution, trying to dismantle the patriarchy, whatever, they don't want it. What they want is to be liked, to be approved of, and for everything to stay the same. And I get right then and there that amongst all these hundreds of people, there is only one who truly believes she has a duty to speak truth to power. I'm the only fucking one. But before I can even think about it, Boris Johnson is there and I say, Mr. Johnson! He puts his hand out and says, Hi, how are you? And I shake his hand basically to stop him moving on. And I say, can I ask you a couple of questions? And I say, do you have any idea what you and your party have done to this country from the politics of austerity to everything you say that genuinely... And he's looking at me. And I'm speaking, but my stomach is doing this convulsing thing, stopping me from talking. And my lip is... Tensing with like when I'm gonna cry. And he takes a step towards me and he says, Are you alright? All sort of kind and and I and I and I can't speak, so I just run. I run away. Yeah, but I think I'm going to be all over the news. Twitty, you know, the little girl who tried to stand up to the Prime Minister but was such a fucking snowflake that she couldn't even finish a sentence without bursting into tears. Yeah, but that's what I was going to say. I check my phone and there's nothing. Just a message from Twix apologising. But I know where it came from, that shaking. It's the panic, the panic of, of, of not being listened to, of being dismissed, of being laughed at. And this is what she's been saying for a long time, that I need to say these things to you, whether you will hear them or not. But the sad thing is, I thought you would have changed. Gotten better in these last few years. But you're just even more you.